guys i hope you're well today i'm very excited because i've got a new pair of wheels so in this box i have got the new nike legend 9 elite the olympic colorway so as you can see uh they're a rascal pair of boots very eye-catching very hard to get hold of at the moment managed to get hold of these for a contact i've got at nike uh, who works at nike football so i'm not sure whether they're available i don't even know whether you can buy them online yet i had a little look and i couldn't see where you could buy them so i'm really happy to have these in the collection if you watch my videos you'll know that i do wear nike legends they're the boot of choice for me First of all, one thing I will notice straight away is the panelling. Raised panels, as you can see here, um, that's very similar to the Nike CTR 360s from maybe, I want to say, 10 years ago now. And I guess that's just to help with your first touch on the ball. You know, I'm sure everyone at Nike would have done a lot of research and a lot of testing and development with regards to these boots. So you can see the quality of the leather and you can see on those raised panels You've got those small sort of dots that are going to help with the first touch. They're going to help with getting some friction on the ball, helping you spin the ball. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. One thing I will say is when I did try to try to put these on, this sock sort of material underneath the laces is it doesn't have much give. There's not much uh, leeway there, so I found it quite difficult to actually put my foot into the boot. As you'll see there, that's that's the furthest it will stretch. Whereas on the old legends, I just felt like there was a lot more give with the uh, with just this whole part of putting the foot in the boot. There was a lot more flexibility there to put the uh, and stretch to put the foot in. I found it a lot easier. So that's one thing I would say straight away. But hopefully that's just going to produce a, a much more snug fit, and it's going to be a bit more glove-like when when the foot's in. Um, and it's going to help with us playing the game, which is the most important thing. So moving on to the sole, as you'll see, the sole is delicious. Um, it's kind of like a metallic-y, multicolored metallic-y feel, which I, I would imagine with it being the Olympic colorway, they're calling these, is kind of playing homage to the, the medals of the Olympic Games, the bronze, the gold, the silver. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's kind of the feel that I get. And obviously you've got these kind of neon colors that go with the white really well. I'm also a big fan of the, the simplicity of, of the design. So I do like a white boot and I do like them quite plain, you know? So if I'm gonna wear a white boot, I want it to be white. I don't want it to have all these different other colors on it. So whilst this does have different colors, I feel like that's a good proportion of white leather there on the inside. And then obviously you've got the tick on the outside, but I do like the fact that it's pretty pure, if you, if you get what I mean, nice and white. Obviously that mesh there, is going to get destroyed as soon as I uh, step out on the field. So that's not going to stay pearly white for too long. So that's the disadvantage with these new sort of boots. You know, they're all very meshy and they have these kind of like sock like features. So they do get dull quite quickly. So yeah, they're looking nice. They're looking good. However, it means nothing if you can't play well in them. So, you know, I'm going to have to put some practice in to justify wearing these, that's for sure. So let's go out and let's hit the field. All right, guys. So obviously the boots, they come with the nice bag that you get with the Nike boots. Tiempo, again, they're using that O from the Tiempo as their sort of logo for the legends. So we're gonna put these on. Still got a bit of paper in there. Like I said earlier, getting them on is not the easiest because of that flat um, line at the top of the fabric. On the old legends, as I'll show you now, they had this little sort of bit of lever that allowed you to sort of grip and pull. And so they're a bit harder these to actually get on. A bit more of a struggle to get on. However, we're in and straight away I can feel they're a bit tighter at the top with that fabric underneath the laces.
Okay guys, straight away off the bat, very, very comfortable boots, but also very light, which is quite rare. It's quite rare that you find a pair of boots that are really comfortable, but also light, because they tend to be a bit clunkier, a bit thicker on the leather. So that's the advantage that these have got, is they're really light and very comfortable. I'd say they're even more comfortable than the, uh, the Legend 8s. So very impressed. Um, looks wise, 10 out of 10. Overall package, I'm gonna give them an 8.5 out of 10. Another day, maybe a nine. I didn't really feel the panelling made too much difference on the front. Um, you know, I think that's a bit gimmicky to be honest. But anyway, really impressed with them. So guys, I'll see you next time on the next video where I will probably be wearing these. Uh, let me know in the comments section if there's anything you want to work on in particular. The Premier League is back next week. So we're all really looking forward to that. Arsenal, who we got? Brentford away, I think, on Friday night. I think we're the, uh, the opening game. So fingers crossed we can start with a win. But Arsenal being Arsenal, you never know. So anyway, I'll see you guys soon on the next video. I hope you're all well. Take care. Peace out.